Hey there, Tiffany Thomas with TheWealthyTiffany.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you the tool that I use to track my net worth and all of my expenses together. And before we dive in, if you're ready for financial freedom, comment freedom below in the comments. And if you're serious about fast tracking your financial freedom, click the link below this video in the description and I can help you do that. All right, let's dive in and talk about my favorite free tool to use to track your net worth and all of your expenses. Uh, this is called Personal Capital. And it's a lot like mint.com if you've heard of that one. Um, but I like personal capital better because of their retirement section. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just so much better than mints. Uh, so I wanna share with you a few things um, that I really love about personal capital. And you know, if you aren't tracking your spending habits or if you have a hard time budgeting, this is a great tool to use because it makes it a lot easier to track all of your expenses, track your income, track your net worth in, in just seconds. It's a free app that you can use. You can also use it on your computer. Um, but you just download it and you connect all of your different financial institutions. So if you have different credit cards like a Discover or a Visa, American Express, you can connect all of those to personal capital. And you can also connect uh, your bank account. So if you even even if you have a credit union or an online checking or savings, you can connect all of those accounts. And then if you have a mortgage, you can connect to that account. And if you're like me and have rental properties, you have multiple mortgages, um, you can connect all of those. I haven't had any problem connecting any of my accounts with personal capital. Uh, they've had them all in there in their system. So um, you just type in what your bank is, if it's Ally, um, then you just type it in and you can connect your checking and savings account. And you can also connect all of your retirement accounts. So if you have an IRA or a Roth IRA um, or even a 401k and anything that's related to money, I have that all connected in one place in personal capital. So I can just log in and they update all of your accounts. Um, it just takes maybe a minute or so, if that, and they're all up to date. And then you can see um, if you got paid, if you got your paycheck or rental income came in, or if a check cleared, um, or if your utility bill was paid. Um, and then you can also see how much your a retirement account has gone up or if it's dropped. Um, you can see if you have stocks, um, a brokerage account, you can see you know how much your stocks have gone up over time or if they've gone down over time. Uh, and then you can start to track your net worth too. So um, they show, and I'm gonna show you a little quick tutorial on it in just a moment so you can actually visually see it. Um, but they let you track your net worth over time, which is really helpful if you are on the path to financial freedom and you want to have a certain amount invested uh, so that you can reach your financial freedom number. And they, they track that for you. So they'll take you know everything that you own, so all of your stocks um, that you might have in a brokerage account or your IRA, um, and then they take all those things that you own, money in your savings, money in your checking, um, and then they subtract out everything that you owe. So if you have a car payment, um, you can connect to that, uh, but they'll minus out your car payment, um, how much you have left on your car loan, I should say. Um, and then if you um, have a mortgage, they'll deduct out how much you have left on your mortgage um, and all, all of your expenses, um, so everything that you owe and then they give you your net worth number. So you can watch that go up over time. Hopefully it's going up. Um, but it's just a really simple tool to use and it's really helpful if you are struggling to kind of have a budget um, or even just pay attention to your finances um, or if you're working toward a certain financial goal. Uh, it's just such an easy tool to use because all you have to do is hook all of your financial institutions. So it'll take a little bit to get it set up, um, but not, you know, it's not going to take forever. 
maybe like 30 minutes or something. I guess it depends on how many accounts you have um, and if you remember the passwords. But once you get that set up, then it's super easy and you can download the app that they have onto your phone. And, you know, in the morning you can just log into the app and it will update it and you can see, like I said, everything that has happened that day so far and previously. Um, and then you can track everything like your, you know, your net worth and your retirement and they'll even give you recommendations. Um, they kind of compare you to other people in your age group and they'll kind of say, oh, you know, you're saving a little less than the majority just so, you know, you can have an idea. Of course, you don't have to follow any recommendations they give, um, but it's just kind of interesting to see where other people stand compared to you. And you can start to improve that over time. And since it's all in one spot, um, then you can kind of go back over the past year and just, you know, look at everything that you've been able to accomplish that year um, and celebrate that and get excited to have an even better year the next year. Uh, so let me show you the tool really quick. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay, so this is the Personal Capital website. Um, so you can just click on their sign up button to sign up for a free account. It's completely free. Um, and we're just going to do a little demo. We're going to watch their demo. So I can give you an idea and you can see exactly how it works. So I'm just going to pause this. So you can kind of see how it works in here. So over to the left, um, they show your net worth right at the top. So you can see, you know, what your assets are, what your liabilities are. So everything that you own and then minus everything that you owe. And this is your net worth. So you can track that over time. Um, and then they link all of your bank accounts. Um, so if you have something with the Bank of America or with Chase, um, it just links your accounts and then it shows you the amounts that you have in there. And then, like I said, you can link all of your investment accounts. Uh, so if you have a 401k, they have Ameritrade on here, Fidelity. Um, and then it just gives you the amounts. And you can see right here, like it was updated four minutes ago, um, three minutes ago. So, and usually when I log into it, um, it will update all of the accounts. So most of them will say updated three seconds ago. Uh, so it's pretty up to date, which is nice. And then you can also connect, you know, any credit cards that you have, um, you know, like a Capital One card, um, all of your different financial accounts. And then it gives you all of the balances right over here. Um, and then it gives you these nice graphs, too. So you can see your net worth. You can see, you know, you can track it for the last 90 days or even further back. Um, but you can see it going up over time. And they also show, you know, how much cash you have on hand. Um, and then they'll give you, you know, if you're following some stocks or the stock market, um, they'll give you a quick glance at the stock market. Um, and then it shows, you know, your cash flow. So it'll show your income for the month and then your expenses. Uh, so you can see, oh, you know, I'm getting pretty close to maxing out on where I want to be spending this month. Um, and they also give you a budgeting tool, um, which I haven't fully util utilized, but um, I think you could really utilize this very well. Um, and you can set up your, you know, certain budget categories that you would want to have in there. Maybe you have a clothing budget um, or a, an outing eat or eating out budget. Um, but you can just see kind of where you're at and track that each month to make sure you're on track. Uh, to where you want to be so you're not overspending in certain areas um, or even overall for the month um, and then they kind of just give you a breakdown on these different categories so they have your mortgage um, restaurants how much you spent that month that month and automotive groceries all sorts of things so they categorize everything that's coming in and you can change the categories too um, if you don't want that certain category uh, so you know, it makes it nice. You can customize it to how you want it to be. So if you do want to just use this for your budgeting tool, uh, you can manipulate it and, you know, set up your own categories so it works for you. And it will, over time, it will figure out, okay, you keep changing this certain item. Let's say, 
Um, well, I'll give you an example. So I have an HOA um, that I pay each month, and for whatever reason, they think it's a pub, and so they put it in there as a restaurant. Um, so I've changed that category um, so that it doesn't show as a pub. Uh, it shows as my HOA. Uh, but you can manipulate that, and then over time it kind of determines, okay, if you keep changing this, then we're just going to auto-change it. Um, but you can always change it over time. And then um, they also give you your portfolio balances. So you can track, you know, all of your investments that you have. So that's super convenient. And then it will show you the retirement savings for this year. Uh, so you can see if you're on track or not. And then it will show you your cash flow. Um, so you can see what's coming in and what's going out uh, so that you can really stick to your spending goals. Um, and it will show you a comparison over last month, uh, which is kind of fun to see. And then they have the retirement planner, which is awesome. So in mine, I put in there that I wanted to retire by age 40. So you enter in your own age um, and then when you want to retire, and they'll kind of tell you, okay, um, to be on track, you need to have so much invested. Um, and then they'll tell you, okay, you're not really on track right now. Um, but you may want to change X, Y, Z or something like that. Um, so it's kind of fun to play around with this tool um, that they give you um, just so that you can, you know, better optimize your retirement um, or your financial freedom fund so it'll work better for you. And then I absolutely love this tool. It's the fee analyzer. So a lot of people don't pay attention to the fees that they're spending. So which with each fund that you're invested in, um, in say a 401k or an IRA, there is an expense ratio. And a lot of people don't realize that because it's not a separate amount that's coming out, um, but it's, it's part of the fund. Um, so with this fee analyzer, you can see how much you're actually paying in fees and how much you're losing over the years by paying such high fees. So it really helps you pay attention to, okay, I want to pick a fund that has a really low fee um, so that I'm not losing out on so much money because it sounds really small. For example, um, you know, a lot of when I had my previous job, a lot of the funds were around a 1% fee, a 1% expense ratio, which sounds low, but it's actually super high. Um, and then with Vanguard, they have funds that are 0.04%, um, which is a huge difference. So if you are paying attention to that, um, you can come in here and enter in, you know, what that 401k fund is that you're considering best investing in and see how much you're going to lose in fees, um, just fees alone. So if you take a look at this, it's telling us um, for these certain conditions that you're losing 21% of your earnings to fees. I don't know about you, but I would rather keep that. Uh, so I love this tool. You can analyze different funds and see how much you're going to miss out on if you don't have a fund with a really low expense ratio. And they also have an education planner, and I haven't really utilized this, um, but it kind of tells you how much co college could cost, uh, maybe 10 years in the future or 15 years in the future. Uh, so you can kind of plan on if you, you know, are planning on helping um, pay for education for your kids. Um, so they have this little planner that breaks it down so you can see what your goal should be um, in order to, you know, save enough to pay for education. So that is a little tutorial on personal capital. Um, and if you guys are interested in signing up for the free tool, I'm going to leave my referral link below and you can get 20 bucks to Amazon. And if you sign up and then link one of your retirement accounts, so if you have a 401k or a Roth IRA or an IRA or some other type of retirement account, all you have to do is link that account and then you will get 20 bucks to Amazon. Um, and I will get the same. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna leave my referral link below so that you can use that if you want to. Um, but I just wanted to share this tool with you because honestly, it's amazing. Um, and it makes your it makes managing your finances a lot easier and tracking your net worth a lot easier. 
and working toward financial freedom a lot easier. Uh, so hopefully you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, please like it and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information. And if you are serious about becoming financially free, make sure and click the link below this video in the description and I can help you do that. And you guys, please comment below and tell me what other videos you would like me to make for you. Um, I would love to do that. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.